Hi there, this is Amanda Frankel with Our Crafty Playdate, and today I am going to teach you how to make one of the cards in this great kit, but I wanted to show you first the kit. It comes like this, ready to make your cards. You, with this kit, you would make um, four each of three different Christmas card designs. It includes everything you need, including the gems, the designer series paper, everything is pre-cut for you and ready to go. The only thing that is not included is stamped images um, per Stampin' Up! policy. But you also get this sheet here that has everything that I've used in the kit and um, it's got every everything listed. And I will highlight the stamp sets that you would need to make it exactly as mine. Although many of these you could make any way you wanted and I'll show you what I'm talking about. The three kits, there are three cards, I'm sorry, that you would be making this one here. Um, so you would have all this cut and you would have this designer series paper. You would have these snowflakes cut, but they wouldn't be stamped. You could do these just white as they are, as they come to you. Um, only you could just spritz them with something, spritz them with a little glitter or frost mist um, shimmer paint, and that would work just as well. Um, this one has a stamp here, but you'll get all these parts and you could just stamp your own greeting in there. And this one would come like this. Um, the stamp on this one is on the inside and you could stamp something else or just not stamp anything at all. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but again, everything that you would need to make all 12 of these cards is right here in this kit and it's mailed to you. It is $28 and it actually, even your bows are tied for you and your gems are in here. So it's ready to go. Um, it's $28 and that includes the shipping to your house. As long as you're in the U.S., then I can ship it straight to you. And then, you know, I can email you about the stamp sets and we can talk about it that way. If you want to get the same stamp sets, if you want to get something different, you know, you, you're welcome to do that. All right, so here's the kit. Let me know if you want it. You can comment below with your email address and I will email you uh, and we can work it out. In the meantime, we're gonna put these aside. We are gonna make these, but not today. We are making this guy today. So I wanna show you everything that I did here. And I'm gonna use my little list here that shows all the things that I used in it. It's a pretty basic card um, as far as supplies go which is kind of nice. We are gonna be using a card base that is just basic black. So that's an easy one. I'm gonna put my glasses on here. Oh, and suddenly it all comes into view. All right, so there is my card base. And you're just gonna layer kind of as you go. The next piece that's gonna go on here is going to be my red piece. So let's get started on that. Um, and this is how you would make these cards at home. So they're pretty simple to do because you're getting the pieces just as I prepare them for videos here. That's how you would receive them. Okay, the next piece that you're gonna, and this is just a four, uh, so this is a normal size card base. This is a normal size panel. So it's four by five and a quarter. This piece here is two by five and a quarter because it's gonna go lengthwise like this. That is your next piece. And you kind of have to layer them in this order. We well, do, not kind of, you really do. And you're just gonna eyeball center that and it's gonna be good enough. Cause good enough is my favorite thing ever. All right, the next thing that you're gonna layer is the belt. And so the belt is one by four piece of black, no big deal. And you're thinking, how did you tuck it through there? I'm gonna show you a trick. You don't have to. You do not have to tuck it through there. Okay, I'm gonna slide that up just a little bit. Okay, so the next part is the buckle. And my buckle is plain here, um, but this one is embossed. So I'm gonna show you what I did here and how to do that before we go forward. So I'm just gonna slide this stuff out of the way. We are using in this, um, this is the folder that we're using, and this is the Parisian Flourish 3D embossing folder. So it's one of the chubbier ones. Uh, so be sure that you pay attention to your cutting machine to know how to go about doing this. And the other thing that I'm actually gonna be embossing 
are these quarter, I'm sorry, they are three quarter inch circles. Uh, we no longer have a punch for this, but I do want to show you a trick real quick before we move on. Um, I am using the brushed metallic, ooh, isn't that fancy? I'm using the brushed metallic um, paper that is in your holiday catalog, and it comes with six sheets in it, which is kind of nice. It's nice and thin. Uh, it's thicker than normal cardstock, but it's thin enough to use a punch on, so that's kind of fun. Um, with this, uh, I want to show you how to make a quick halo. So if you're punching out your buttons, these, this is my old three quarter inch punch and I'm just, you know, I just reach in here and punch, no big deal, right? There you go. But if I wanted to make an angel halo, what I would do is I'd give myself a little bit of extra space around my three quarter inch button. That's my three quarter inch button. And then I would take my one inch punch and I would just circle right over it. Is that pretty even? And now I have created a halo. So I could make a little angel Christmas thing for a card. Or look at that. It is like a wedding band. So if you are making, um, if you are making like an engagement card for someone, I'm going to make two rings here and show you a trick. So there's my button. I'm going to keep that button. You never throw anything away in crafting, right? And I'm just going to center and go over that with my one inch ring. If you just slit your ring, you can slide this one to interlock it like that and then hide. So I just hid that joint right like that. I'm just going to hide it like that. And so they are interlocking and you could put that on a card as wedding bands. Okay, so got a little distracted, but that's just a fun thing to do. We need three of those and one of this punch. And this is the everyday label punch in the normal annual catalog. And this was in the spring catalog, I believe. Not 100% sure where this was, but it's still current. Okay, and so I am going to use my machine here. And this is a 3D embossing folder. So with a 3D embossing folder, the 3D kind, I use plate one and plate four. This comes with it. I don't need any of my clear ones. I'm just going to lay that down there. And then to get them to look swirly like this, I just, I just picked where I wanted them to be in the folder. So you can see this pattern is, it's got a fleur-de-lis here and here, and it's just kind of different. Um, and you could use a lot of different folders. So you really don't have to be um, worried about which folder you use. I used a swirly, but you could use a snowflake. Uh, actually, you could use anything. And this I'm just going to center here. So I kind of have them picked. There you go. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to set it down on here. Hold it with my hand while I slide my gray plate on there and now I'm just going to run it through. You're going to wobble a little, sorry. Um, just going to run it through. When you're doing, when you're running an embossing folder through your machine, make sure that you always, always, always go fold side first through the machine. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I'm a little off center on that guy. That's okay. So there's one, two, there's my buckle and I'm going to use this one because I just want to show you how it works, but you can center it better than I just did because bleh. All right. So I'm going to put these on my table and move this off. Look at this. This is my favorite thing. Yeah. Storage. Nice and small. Okay. So we already have this part done and now we are going to add our buckle buckle. The black center of this is a piece of the same width here. So whatever width you use here, that's this because it's a belt. So it is one inch by one and a quarter. And I'm just going to glue that directly on top of my buckle. I'm just going to stick that on there. Okay. And you do kind of have to give that a second because it is, it's got some texture to it. And then I have my three buttons and my buttons are going to go on dimensional. So we are going to be using dimensionals 
from here on. So I'm gonna go ahead and while I'm waiting for my buckle to dry, I'm just gonna put dimensionals on my buttons. There you go. And my buckle also is going to get some dimensionals. And you don't need to go crazy here with dimensionals on your buckle. Usually three or four would be plenty. You can do it like this. There's three. That's plenty. All right. So I'm going to stick my buckle on. So this kind of, this part is pretty important. Not the sticking the buckle on. The buckle, you kind of know where it's going to go. It's going to go right in the middle of your belt. You just want to try and make sure that this black part lines up with your, with your belt. Okay. This part is important. The buttons. Now, intuitively, you would just start at one end and work your way across. Or start down here and work your way up. I want you to put your bottom one on first your top one on second, and then you're just gonna center your third one. If you do it the other way, where you start down here and you work your way up, by the time you get to your third one, whichever direction you go, it's gonna work its way right off. Okay, so there's that part, and now I need to stamp. So, I am just gonna use a normal size white panel that is four by five and a quarter. And this is the stamp set that I used. Christmas means more. And I did a video not too long ago with this one, so you can look for it. I love this stamp set. It didn't come with any dies or punches or anything like that. But you absolutely can find use to this stamp set. And it's not very expensive. So all of these are really cute stamps in here. We are going to be using Memento Black Ink. And if you want to know how I know this, it's on the list. All right. So... Um, this is a photopolymer stamp, so I am going to stick a stamp pad under there, this stamping pierce mat, and make sure that I've got ink on the whole thing. And then I'm just going to go down one, two, three, and up. I believe it's silly, but I believe um, I had a person in class the other day who wanted this, and she didn't think it was silly at all to believe in Santa, so... She just masked with a post-it note the it's silly but I believe or the it's silly but I believe part on here. So she put the post-it note right there underneath the I believe, inked it up, pulled the post-it note off. So there's no ink now on the it's silly but I believe. So when she stamped, it just said I believe. So it was very cute. And this gets a little glue. Like this. And we are done. All right, so you learned a tip today. Oh, I'm getting glue everywhere. You learned a tip today on how to do those rings. So don't forget that with your punches, with your circle punches. It makes it way easier than trying to go the other way. You know, punching the, the big one first and then trying to center the small one to punch out. And there you go. This card is done. And that is how easy it would be for you if you ordered the kit because all the parts are done for you. And... You can let me know if you want me to emboss these for you, I can, or I can just send them to you if you have an embossing folder that you love. Like I said, swirls, snowflakes, anything like that looks great, anything ornate. And you're all set. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are interested in the kit, you can read in the description below. It'll have the list of things that I used for this particular card, but it'll also have my email address so that you can email me um, and let me know that you're interested in the kit or you could just put your email address in the comments and I will contact you, whatever works best. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you find a need for 12 Christmas cards this year. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.